can see with President Trump's energy policy, we've actually become the dominant leader in energy production, not only able to supply all of our own needs and lower costs for families, but creating millions of good jobs and now supplying energy to our friends around the world, which actually takes leverage away from countries like Russia, uh, who use energy as a weapon uh, to push their socialist agenda. And so if you look at what Joe Biden's campaign has been putting out, they're already talking about $2 trillion in taxpayer subsidies to promote the agenda. And when I look at that, the only thing I can think of is that is Solyndra on steroids. If you go back, and I was on the House Energy and Commerce Committee when we did the investigation into the Obama-Biden energy policy when they were giving out massive taxpayer subsidies to promote green energy in the past. And so Joe Biden's been here before, and you can actually see his track record, and it's a track record of failure. Uh, what we uncovered was that uh, was Vice President Biden at the time actually put pressure on the Treasury Department to approve the Solyndra loan for over $500 million of taxpayer money, even when people in Treasury were warning that it was going to be a failure. And sure enough, Joe Biden flies to California to deliver the check uh, personally. And then months later, the company goes bankrupt and the taxpayers are on the hook for over $500 million. Can you imagine if we now give Joe Biden $2 trillion of taxpayer money uh, we'll see cylindras all across the nation, failed energy policy, which would lead to higher energy costs and lost jobs.